how can you sculpt in Blender with a slow PC? Maybe you realize, well, everything lags, everything, maybe even the your PC might even crash, you know, maybe your PC is uh, too slow, it takes a long time, and maybe it's lagging. One question you need to answer first. So if you're in sculpt mode and you just use any brush, whether it's the clay strips brush, maybe even the, uh, you know, the standard sculpt draw brush without dynamic topology enabled, is it lagging or is it not lagging? Um, if it's not lagging, then I have a solution for you. And the solution is, well, dynamic topology, but not in the way that you probably um, usually or have used it or the way that I guess most people think of dynamic topology. The question could be, you know, why wouldn't you use remesh instead of dynamic topology? Benefit of using dynamic topology is if you have a lot of geometry, it can very quickly um, lag your viewport. To avoid to have so much geometry, we can use dynamic topology to basically apply more geometry in specific areas. If you want to have this amount of resolution, just to kind of add in this little spot more geometry or more detail. The problem is remesh basically remeshes the entire model. So you would have this amount of resolution over the entire model, but we only really need it in this spot. This is where dynamic topology has like an advantage. If you have it on constant detail, you can define the resolution. If you have it on relative detail, you can define a detail size. Basically, the closer you are to the mesh, the um, the more resolution your brush, I guess, has or applies to the geometry. If the resolution is higher than the current resolution on the surface, then it, you know, subdivides it. And if it's um, smaller, then it's going to collapse it and make the, the geometry bigger. Um, that can be quite intense for your PC. Not necessarily the, the subdivision um, in itself, but more the subdivision in addition to moving the geometry at the same time. A, I guess, more performance friendly way to use dynamic topology would be to basically apply the resolution first, then you can deactivate dynamic topology again, and then you can change the geometry. The way you would work now is basically go to dynamic topology settings, you would enable dynamic topology, then you set it to constant detail, subdivide collapse, and then you set the resolution that you want to scope with. So what we can do now is we can select the simplify brush. The simplify brush basically applies the resolution that you set in the dynamic topology settings. It applies that to the geometry or to the surface without deforming the volume. You can apply this brush now to really only add more geometry to areas where you need it, like this area here. Once you've applied more geometry to the area where you want to add more detail, you can go back to the dynamic topology, deactivate it, and then because you've deactivated dynamic topology, it's not trying to subdivide anything more anymore. So it should run smoother. So now if you, of course, go back to um, the standard sculpting brushes like the um, crease brush, for example, here, it should run very, very smooth. If you want to use it, uh, if you start with a UV sphere, for example, one problem is that it always gives you errors if you enable dynamic topology. One way to kind of remove this error message is you can once go to remeshing and then you would hit remesh just so that this gets remeshed and there's no sort of object data anymore that can mess up dynamic topology. And then you can enable dynamic topology. I like to start with 20 resolution because that is still quite big. And then you can use your simplify brush. You apply the simplify brush. You don't really see much. You can press shift Z and then you can press alt Z. Shift Z brings you to wireframe view and alt Z removes X-ray vision. And you can check that you actually apply the geometry to the right position, for example. So if you want to say, hey, I want to create like a, like a horn, for example, here, on this sphere, you know, you apply the new geometry here, this new resolution, then you deactivate this again, you can press shift Z again to get out of this. And then you can use the snake brush, for example, for horns, we go in here, we drag it out, you can see we kind of stretch the faces, but that's not too bad. Um, you can see if we press shift Z again, you can see they get stretched quite a lot because dynamic topology is not enabled anymore. So what we need to do now, we can go back into the, the dynamic topology settings, we enable it again, and we select the simplify brush again, apply it again, and then we have more resolution in this area. So the loop would probably be apply geometry where you need it or more geometry where you need it, then deactivate dynamic topology, continue sculpting. Then when you need more geometry again, when for example, the face is stretched a lot, enable dynamic topology again, you then select the simplify brush again, apply the simplify brush here, you deactivate dynamic topology again, and then you can sculpt, continue sculpting again. 